Hi guys. So today, I, in reference to Memorial Day, right, I wanted to whip up a dessert because anyone that knows me knows I have a horrible sweet tooth. I really don't like to share my desserts. <laughs> but if I have to, I will. But I would love to share this recipe with you guys. So I don't know the name of it. I just know it's like a red, white, and blue theme for Memorial Day. Quickly just explain what I, I said. Had. A pound, a pound of, of strawberries, but I meant to say three pounds of strawberries and two pounds I of blueberries. Extract. I have almond extract. And I'm also gonna do a half cup of sugar, white sugar. I also have two room temperature cream cheeses. We need these softened because we're gonna whip these up. Now, first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is put everything aside. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these strawberries up. Go ahead and cut these up, and then I'll be right back. So now that we have the strawberries cut in half, I'm gonna put these aside because we're gonna go ahead and start putting the, the cream filling that we're gonna make. So let's put these aside, but let's first try it out. <laughs> so it's gonna be layers that we're doing. I actually have an eight by four and three quarters deep that I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up. So we're gonna do layer, 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 and then top it off, okay? So we're gonna, Go ahead and start off with our cream cheese. Remember it's softened. I left this out to have it room temperature for about an hour, an hour and a half, just to soften so it's easier so when I mix it. Ooh wee, this looks good. But I like cream cheese. See how easy that comes off? My grandma was always up in the mornings and so Sometimes she would let me have coffee. With that came pan dulce. We both loved, we both had a sweet tooth. So it made me happy to have a little bit of pan dulce with her and cafe. So it, it was good. So this, this is why I love uh, desserts as well. It always reminds me of my grandma. Okay, so now that we have the two cream cheeses here, so two cups of heavy whipping cream. Pour that in there nice. Thank you. And then I have a half a cup of white sugar. We're gonna do half a tablespoon of almond, pure almond extract. Then we're gonna do vanilla extract, half a tablespoon as well. I don't know if I said cup or whatever, but I meant tablespoons for both of these. <laughs> we're just gonna mix it. So let's go ahead and mix it. Start off at a slow rate and then we'll go up gradually up to a medium speed, okay? just perfect and I like the consistency of it. It's still thick enough to layer on top of each other. So let's get rid of this and we'll be right back. Okay, so now that I wipe my face off any evidence, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and start whipping. So we're gonna start off by putting our cream cheese at the bottom and then we're gonna layer it with strawberries and then blueberries, okay? So what I want to do is place them on top. I don't want to just throw them. So I'm going to place them on top like so. So I'm just going to grab them, place them nice and neat. 
and I've layered the top layer. Looks like a strawberry cake. Now I'm gonna throw a nice handful of blueberries. And at this, I do want all the way across. So we're gonna do this gradually. We're gonna put more whipping cream and then more fresas, strawberries, and blueberries. I don't know how to say blueberries in Spanish, so put it there. <laughs> then we're gonna keep going, okay? Jammed it a little more with strawberries, so the layer, as we go along, you can still see it. I am gonna pack it on with just another layer on this second one with strawberries. I, wanted, I want you to be able to see the strawberries. Okay, so it looks like we're done with that. I'm gonna go ahead and put the last layer on. So I'm loving the outcome of it. It looks like we have a nice thick layer at the very top. I really wish this looked like this at the bottom, <laughs> but it is what it is. It's my first time making it. I saw the recipe. I am gonna make mistakes and it's okay. But here is where I want to kind of draw a flag at the top. So I'm gonna use a little bit of layering. So I'm not gonna use that many, but I'm gonna get the smaller ones. Now that I have pretty much the flag situated, I'll show you in just a bit how it looks over. So I did red, white, red, white, red, white, red, white. Now for the stars part of it, I'm just gonna go ahead and put these on top. So some places charge you an arm and a leg, baby. You go over there and they're like, 100 bucks, 80 bucks. Okay, you can make this yourself, impress yourself and your family. So see how it has the stars, red, white, blue, well, not the blue, but you know, red, white. <laughs> Don't get the point. The final product. I don't even wanna dig in, it's so pretty. <laughs> but I am gonna dig in. I wanna be able to scoop it up and see exactly what it tastes together. I mean, I did see on the side, but even so, I wanna put it together. Ooh. I'm excited. Mm. Honestly, I, that's, man, that's good enough. <laughs> this is so nice. It is so good balanced with the sharp, well, I haven't had the strawberry, but the blueberries, because they're a little sour, they, it's a, it tastes perfect, because I love sweet and sour stuff. Mm. Mm. Man. This is gonna impress anyone you take it to. Thank you so much to everyone watching, subscribing, uh, sharing my posts, commenting. It means the world to me from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. And happy Memorial Day.